I just make sure it's stuck to the wheel. So push down, seal that edge. Everybody hold out your left hand. And the reason I do that, because you guys are looking at me this way and it gets confusing. So your left hand, that's your centering hand. That's the hand, that part of your hand right there is what's gonna center this clay. Um, in here, get in close so that you can reach the clay. Put that in against your side and just lean into the clay. And if, it sounds real obvious, doesn't it? But if your hand doesn't move and it's pushing into the clay, it'll center it. If your hand's going like this, it won't center it. So you have to stop that motion, whatever that takes. Maybe it means coming in here and holding it in some other way in which you can stop that motion. Uh, as I start to put pressure on this clay, I find that if I touch my fingertips here, I can draw that into my left hand and draw it on up. Lean into it and compress it and draw it on up. You should also feel the clay slipping over your hand. If, if you feel like you're grabbing it and it's not slipping, you're gonna push that right off and you'll end up with a ball of clay in your hand that's no longer attached to the wheel. All right, so uh, that's, the, that's the point of contact right there. I wanna come up over the top and start leaning into it. And this has to stay steady. As it comes down, you'll feel almost like it's corkscrewing down a little. I'm gonna bring my right hand in here just to steady that just a little bit. And my fingers are shaping it as I come down. I get to the bottom, that finger over the top, I'm just gonna press that in, flatten the top off just a little bit. And then I'm gonna come in on this vertical wall and just shape that just a little bit. So, we're centered. Opening this up now, my right hand's gonna be the one that needs to be really steady. And my left hand is just going to help steady it. Just touching the clay gently, I'm gonna start pushing down in. And this is a little thing that uh, ends up being kind of important is my left thumb is sitting on that edge right there. If I don't do that, I start sometimes to get stretching and cracking right here. So that little compression right there helps as I go down. When you get to about a quarter of an inch, half an inch is on the thicker side, quarter of an inch is on the thinner side. From the wheel head stop, and then just hold, hook a little bit and draw that across the bottom towards yourself. I need it wide enough that I can get my hand in here. A little compression across the bottom. Is this all looking pretty familiar now? I, before I start drawing this up, I want to lean the whole thing in. Just like centering. And I'm going to hold the inside, the outside, and put a little pressure down on the top and just compress that just a little bit. Okay, so we're ready to pull that up into a cylinder. Left hand down on the inside, find that bottom corner. Right hand is behind the sponge here. And can you see how my hand is kind of, like my thumb's almost a straight line off my wrist here. Working at four o'clock, should look something like this. Compress, there's that undercut, there's that little extra clay, that bulge. I need to get under that and lift that on up, draw that up towards the rim. If there was a couple dry spots, it started tugging a little bit. Um, if that is a problem, don't hesitate to release and put a little water back on that and get that slick again. Or splash some water on the inside, get a little water in there. Collar that in if you need. So, I'll reach down in and find that bottom corner again. Reach over the top and touch. There's that little extra clay that I want to get under. And stay with that as I draw it on up towards the rim. And I, 
I got a little aggressive right at the beginning. That's probably a little bit of a thin area there. And I started backing off when I saw that I was really bringing too much clay up. Um, I think that's gonna be all right. I'm just gonna push out. I could even take a little clay and move it back down through that. But I don't, I don't think it's gonna be a problem just yet. We'll collar this back in. Compress and even that rim up a little bit. If you've got a lot of water inside, pick that water up. And this might be the last pole. We've got it pretty thin down. Um, get down and the last pole. I'm always thinking about how I, how I'm leaving the cylinder as far as how it looks. I, I sometimes. I sometimes want to see a nice pole mark, or nice finger marks all the way on up as I finish that last pole. But it, it may be that you don't even keep that surface, that you take a rib and smooth it out. When you do finish, you can even this back out. There's that thin area still right there. Collar this. Raise your hand if you've been on the wheel. Everybody, not yet. Don't put that off. Everybody <laughs> else. Yes, good. Um, don't put it off. Uh, I guarantee uh, you're going to need that practice time. <laughs> <laughs>